Um, in terms of the uh, European, where did they come from? Shake out the D out. He talked about how the, the European is nothing but a light skinned African, so to speak. Where did they come from? Because if all life began in Africa, of course the Europeans got there. Somehow, Sheikh Abdul the Diop said, we migrated all over the world. Mm -hmm. They got caught over in Europe through the Ice Age. Right. You know, was not able right. to get back That's to right. a period of thousands and thousands of years. That's right. It's like when you put a cast on your arm, it gets sweaty. The hair starts to grow and stuff like that. So basically, they was living in caves for thousands of years. So they didn't know what, you know, like stuff like that. They didn't have nothing to eat. They would jump on animals and kill an animal mm. to survive. Mm. So what is your perspective well, of the European and where did they come from? Here's the thing. Are that, they light-skinned in Africa? He, he, here's the deal. You know, and I think that we had, there were, you know, I've, I've been around for a long time. I've been thinking about this this issue since the 1980s, right? Mm -hmm. I think that we are in a, in a uniquely important period right now because we are able to actually, through genetic studies, tell us exactly who people are and when they got to the places that they are. Because all we have to do, human beings, I know that most people are familiar with the word mutation, but they think that mutations are something that give people special powers because right. they've seen it in popular media. But actually, mutations are very common among hum amongst human beings. It's part of evolution. And so what sure. we do is we're able to actually look at mutations on people's genetic codes. Sure. And so through the muta mutations, we're able to actually trace when people must have gotten in the region that they are. So it should be very clear now that the Asian, the European, are actually our children. That's the way I describe it. For most of human history, humans were Africans. For mo the overwhelming majority of human history, if you open that book, well, the last chapter is the chapter on Asia and on Europe. See, there's humans. So for most of, the hu uh, most of humanity is African. So let's be really clear that when we even look, if you look in my book, I'll show you images of the oldest fossil of the European and the oldest fossil of the, Ameri of the American, right? If you looked at them today, you would clearly say these people are African. So the reality is that those people... Those people who were Africans went all over the world. It's, all, it's, it's hilarious to me that people wonder how, if Africans were able to travel across the seas. That question is just as foolish as it possibly can be because the, the, the genetic record okay. tells us that if humanity is in a place, then it means that Africans she, traveled. It's she, that simple. Mm -hmm. So the European and the Asian are fundamentally African. Here's now, they've changed based on where they are. Certainly they have. And the group of people that has the, the largest percentage of the, of the human genetic code are, those, are some of the people that are the most maligned in the world. When you go to those people that are considered the Khoisan people, mm -hmm. they are the oldest people on the planet. The Khoisan, the Khoisan people. The Khoisan people that have been misnomered, the Bush people, the pygmies. Right. The, you know, the reality is that our African, uh, ancient okay. Kemetic people call them the no Twa. The Samar said, stop laughing at short people. That's right. Because <laughs> the first the people, again? yes I did. Yeah, said, the first people on people the short. planet right. were those smallest people on the planet. And we called them the Twa. The and, twa they, and they weren't dark skinned. They yeah. were actually brown, right? They were brown skinned. They weren't they, even dark They weren't the darkest All of this, people on the So planet. we have a resurgence now because of black power. Right. We have this resurgence so what that. what you want to say, Reggie? Yeah, because yeah. you wanted to bust and jump in. You know, See, they're giving Africa a bad name with mm. this modern. They, these are uh, descendants of, of Africans mixed with Neanderthal. That is what uh, the Plant Institute is saying. That is what uh, Savanto Pablo is saying. The African left. You're see, talking about the European, though. Wait, yes. The, the African left. Right. Right. When he left Africa, now we're talking about early humans. So we're right. talking about Neanderthals. Neanderthals had already left Africa. Um, Homo, excuse me, Homo Hidebegansis. Homo Hidebegansis left Africa, right, was stayed in Africa. That's right. So, what, so now Homo, I mean, Homo Hidebegansis has descendants, mm -hmm. the Neanderthal and the Denisovan, and they're in Europe. They're trapped up in Europe. 
And then the African has uh, is descendants of uh, Homo hydrobagantis, but they ultimately become what you call modern man. They be Homo sapiens sapien. The Homo sapiens sapien leaves Africa in Canaan, and possibly, uh, possibly when, if there was a land bridge over there where Spain is, and they admixed with the Neanderthal and create what they don't want to say is a, uh, a well, they say it is an admixed species. And but, that, yes. But to be fair, I, I'm not disagreeing with any of the history you just gave. No, but science. A perspective on it. Yes. Right? A perspective on it. The Neanderthal is an African as well. Absolutely not. So, uh oh. Uh oh. Are you telling me the Neanderthal developed outside of Africa? That's correct. That is not correct. <clears throat> that is not correct. <clears throat> All of humanity, its early forms and its newer forms. <laughs> read, it's in my book, brother. It's in the book. That's right there. They actually had their origin in Africa. Neanderthals were never in Africa. That's what the uh, that's what um, the Planck Institute and Savant. Well, let's we'll, 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 we'll do we'll do no, some you can more just, work. You, now. Let me say this to you. Nah, I guess we can do it in five minutes, but we'll do it. After we'll do five it. We'll minutes. do it. We'll do it. But and this is the point. They were never in. But Africa. this is the point. I, I don't want us to lose the point in the weeds. This is the point. The point is that I think that because of all the things that Europeans have done to us. Mm -hmm. We look at science sometimes, and we find that there are ways that we can say negative things about them. And that's the reason why sometimes we say they're Neanderthals and those things. And those aren't... That's they not, are Neanderthals. That's not, that's not untrue, yes, right? Yes, they are Neanderthals. Let's understand that we're talking about 2% of their genetic code, though. We're not no, talking about larger a large than, percent. Two percent is what even that... No, that's what evolved, too. It was larger than that. Uh, let's let's okay. say this. Let's say this, though. Let's say this, though. We have to give the credit... To the Neanderthal as well, because some of the things that we've learned about the Neanderthal are, are, are more endearing than what we initially had. We had that image of the, of the cave person that would slap people over the head with things, and we now know that the Neanderthal possibly had some spiritual thinking. The Neanderthal had connections to, the, to, the, to nature. The, so I don't want, when we say Neanderthal, sometimes it becomes a, a code word for lesser evolved humans. They, they, they were not homo sapiens sapiens. That is true. So they were lesser involved. But, but, but I think that what we're actually, when we're saying evolved, we're not talking about, when people say that, they're not usually talking about the genetic code. They're trying to talk about morals, intelligence, We're talking about culture. creativity, and we're talking about, and we're talking about rationality. But there are lots rationals. of things about the Neanderthal that we're learning that know well, they, that they are the, less yeah, what we, what we, what we I'm do using know, that in the colloquial What we do know way. is that they were extinct either because of... Uh, they got eaten by a uh, modern man That's right. or by sexual transmitted diseases that they couldn't handle or viruses that the African from uh, built up humility from. So we, we do, we, uh, we do. But, but this is my point, though. This is the point. This mm -hmm. is the point. I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. This is the point. There's one thing we disagree on, but this is the point. The point is this. All of the people on the planet are Africans. Now, I think that because of the amount of time that we spent on the continent, we have a particular connection to that continent when those other people left and spent time in other places. Then you build up an argument. Be very careful because you're building up an argument um, that everyone, since everyone came from Africa, everyone has rights to Africa. See, you got but to be... Less, but wait a minute, but if that's the case... You have to take the converse of that argument as well. If we're all um, Africans, then that means that all Africans also have the rights to Asia and to Europe. We don't need Asia and Europe. Well, I don't listen. I, See, let's be here's clear. Here's the thing: the the breadbasket of the modern world no is the continent of Africa. No disagreement, right? I actually said it earlier in this okay, conversation. So but what I'm saying you to you is, is that if they that doesn't mean that they should now be the those people that left most recently should now have greater. Then, then, then call, that's that's, so that's greater, all my point. So once right. we start going with that line, that. We're all Africans. That's why they're producing this great African civilization. It's theirs too. That's why who's producing the great African civilization? This this whole production with Henry Louis Gates uh -huh. is financed for a reason, mm -hmm. right? So when we when they go back to Africa, 
They want to, they want to, they heard what Henry Louis Gates said. It's all propaganda, strategy. The Asians, you understand the, the, the next world war, right, is going to be about Africa. China and the United States. The first about, two world wars about Africa as well. It's about Africa. It's about that. You can't produce cell phones without Africa. You need it's all of its, um, all, the majority of the gold comes from Africa. But the Reggie, majority, every major conflict go. on the planet was about Africa. That's right. 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 So, we didn't learn it correctly. I remember as a child, and I've always been uh, enthralled by history. I remember learning as a child that a world war was d created because an art duke was blown up in his limousine. I said, you tell me that all these nations went to war because one dude got killed? The reality is that they were, they were battling over the resources of Africa. Mm -hmm. And the second war was essentially about uh, one group of people being upset that they were cut out of carving up the, the continent. That's correct. So we have to understand that both world wars were about Africa. And the Berlin Conference, earlier right. than that, the Berlin Conference, and that's all right. was always the about... the of Africa, and that's, that's right. right. That's the right. only thing that stopped them is that because of the conditions and the climate, that they are not genetically ready to do that. That's Otherwise, right. they would be there. It is still very harsh for them. Mm -hmm. they so will. Let me bring in another question for y'all to have this, this powerful discourse right here. Evolution. 